This group of teens destroying this Chinese restaurant in New York City has everybody talking. But what's really happening here? Oh, man. Sometimes it be your own people. This is going viral in a lot of different circles on the internet right now. Of course, we're going to get into the internet reactions, our own takeaways. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications from silly to serious. Hop Hop Boys always breaking it down. Andrew, what happened at Fish Village in College Point, Queens? All right. So it seems like 17 teenage boys who are mostly Asian, but possibly some are also Hispanic. They ran and ransacked this restaurant. They were destroying everything they saw in sight. Tables, cups, everything, throwing everything. Not the kanji spoons. Yeah. They were breaking the kanji spoons. They were just smashing it. Um, They did not fight anybody. There was no uh, reported human-on-human interaction, really. But there were some people who were standing by. The guy filming was like, yo, I'm trying to eat. What's going on? And then some of the employees kind of stepped in to stop them, but nothing really happened. Uh, And then the kids just went on their way. Why is this going so viral right now? There's a lot of different reasons right because it's like nothing really that bad happened but there's a lot of things going on and uh, a lot of people are making this a commentary on the youth of america so i I think that that's why because this is more viral than you would think well people like watching videos and i don't know there's 17 teenagers that's quite a few so let's just be honest like this was organized that's why people have all these different theories on what's going on right it was just not a random interaction this was probably pre-planned out with a leader guys anyway um let's get in the internet comments someone was like nowadays we're so soft on crime man the miners they know if they get caught they're just gonna get off we don't prosecute anything anymore we're just gonna let society fall before our eyes this is all planned. Why are we like this? Yeah, you know, I mean, as soft as I think the authorities are being, I mean, there's also more cameras now than ever. So everything's going to get caught on, whether it's someone filming or the security camera who caught some of the faces of these teenagers. I don't know what's going to happen. So you're saying that there is, it is or not a commentary on the youth? It. I, I, we'll get to it. We'll get to that. Somebody said, uh, well, uh, there was a lot of relief and surprise, Andrew, that it was Asian on Asian or Asian and Latino on Asian. Yeah, I mean, I guess this is mostly coming from black people, like on the black uh, black Twitter threads and stuff like that, where they're like, oh, see, no, 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 no black teens were involved in this. Yeah, for sure. No, these are mostly Asian and some Hispanic. Uh, but yeah, because it looked like a riot. It looked like a group of kids. I guess, I guess this is why people are talking about it, because you wouldn't really think that a group of Asians, like a large group of Asian kids would do this. Right. Um, some people are saying, I knew they were Asian by the way they were running like Naruto. <laughs> Yo, I'm not going to lie. This is actually, uh, there's not a lot funny about this situation, but this is a funny comment because the kids are definitely dressed like some Asian kids you've seen Dude, before. I saw an as- oversized essential hoodie. He's very Bieber-esque, very PacSun. I saw a North Face bubble that was shiny. Whoa. I saw some Ultra Boost 2022. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure there's a Supreme backpack somewhere there. <laughs> and there's tech pants, obviously. And there's like, uh, there's, yeah, Yeezy Boost. I don't know, man. I... Yeah. What? Somebody said, uh, man, it's just clearly an insurance scam. Look at the body language of the employees. They don't even try to stop them. There's no violent confrontation. Clearly, they're running an insurance scam. Asians, they love those. All right. Let's, uh, let me just put yourself, put yourself in the shoes of these employees, all right? So you see a bunch of these kids running in. You can probably take one of them. You can't take all of them. And this isn't your restaurant. You're just an employee. So, of course, there's too many. They could overpower you. What are you going to do? Fight one and then get hurt more? And then there's, it becomes yeah. this whole thing. That is funny, the stereotype of insurance scams, though, though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know the motive, guys. Somebody said, uh, man, just look at how rude Asian restaurant workers are, man. They really could just push you over the edge. Obviously, that was a joke. <laughs> oh, and somebody yeah. else has said, uh, man, you're telling me none of the owners knew any martial arts? Yeah. Um, funny, I'll, funny internet. The internet's funny. <laughs> uh, but we got to get into some real theories, Andrew, behind what actually happened, right? Some people were saying this had to be a business dispute higher up, and the kids were just hired. Some people said this was the underworld. This was everything from street gangs to tribes ads to protection money the tongs there was a lot of different theories mm. flying around the internet i mean uh i guess probably more than likely there was a dispute and the kids were just like hired right yeah i mean that's what it looks like these don't uh i'm not gonna pretend like i know what a professional ransacker looks like but they don't look like that they've been doing this well a they lot. look like they might have just got off the school bus and then just went straight to Fish Village. Yeah, it looked like a a, a class project. Oh, would you say it looked more like the new cause collection dropped at Uniqlo or something Listen, like that? Listen, I'm I'm not here to try to critique the crime. Okay, it was a crime what they did. <laughs> right. All right. Um, as far as Asian on Asian crime goes, Andrew, why do you think in the Asian community there is such a variance in understanding Asian on Asian crime? 
Yeah, because I, like a lot of people are completely unaware of it. Whereas other people, maybe you're from Flushing, maybe you're from um, uh, uh, Long Beach, you're super tapped into it. Yeah, I, I just think that this is the first time people have seen a group of Asian teenage boys on video destroying and like being hired to destroy something and to cause destruction. So I guess it, it is interesting because a lot of people are looking at it, trying to figure out what's happening. But I think a lot of the time, especially in the Asian community, we don't always talk about Asian on Asian crime for one reason. It, it technically doesn't happen that often, statistically speaking. Obviously, Asians committing violent crimes is just very low in America, period. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It's just very low. Um, and also, I think another thing is that uh, a lot of this stuff does happen to probably do with like, organized underworld or some type of gang activity, which you don't usually think is prevalent amongst the Asian community, but it does exist. Right, and especially in like enclaves, right? Yeah. Um, more so, yeah. you know, ones that have that element exist. And we're all aware that back in the 90s and early 2000s, this stuff was more prevalent, but we all thought it died down, but it's not gone away completely, right? And then also, um, a lot of Asians don't even see other Asians as very aggressive or violent people, mm. right? So they're like, wait, so now you can actually hire a bunch of what I think to be Chinese teenage boys to go do something bad. And this is kind of shocking a lot of people's mind mind frame, you know, or paradigm. Right. That they right, usually right, see right, things right, through. Right. That they're like, and, whoa, is this a sign that things are really bad? Or, or is that a sign that Asian kids are starting to become bad or there's more diversity in archetype? Or there's just more cameras nowadays. Maybe you could always do this, but I don't know, you know? I mean, to be honest, stuff like this probably always happened in the 80s and 90s when crime levels were super high, Andrew. But guess what? There wasn't a lot of cameras back then. I think in the last 10 years, crime levels generally dropped to be pretty low. But I do think in the past five years, Andrew, to be honest, there's been an increase. Okay, so I know it can be a media thing. And like, maybe it's just what we're seeing on social media. It's what we're seeing on camera phones. It's what we're seeing on the news. But this combined with maybe the more tragic events that happen Asian on Asian, obviously mm. in the past couple months, as we know about, which were horrific, um, ten, like a thousand times worse than this, but this is still bad enough where you're kind of like, whoa, is there something going on with Asians? Like what's going on with Asians? Like, are we okay? Or is this just kind of a sign that there's enough Asians in society now? Because it's true. Listen, when your population grows, it doesn't even matter how nice or law abiding you think your population is eventually there's going to be things that happen right so well, it's just people are variant across the plot chart yeah in terms of you know some people really like to break the law some people like to follow yeah. it some and, people want to enforce it i think it also goes to show you that there's different types of asians i mean even if you can assume that a lot of these kids were chinese it just means there's a lot of chinese people in new york let's yeah. be honest there's almost eight hundred thousand in just new york city alone so I don't know. Is anyway, it bad guys, use? let us know what you think in the comment section below, guys. I mean, I know this video went viral. A bunch of people wanted us to talk about it. You know, I hope Fish Village figures it out. But uh, yeah, obviously not a lot of information. And who knows if the information will ever come out. But I do think, to be honest, Andrew, with the prevalence of cameras, and I'm not saying, you know, this way or that way, probably those kids are going to get caught. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.